Hi and welcome to Down the Shed. So in this episode I'm going to turn the camera around onto the big screen and I'm going to do the final 10 or 14 clips for Hazard Perception. Now I've purchased the DVLA uh, Hazard Perception CGI clips. A lot of these DVDs they may have things like this. They may have some of the CGI clips on them but they're mostly uh, like dash cam videos and it depends on the makers of the DVD as to when the hazard starts. Your idea of when a hazard starts is different to somebody else's. So I believe that the hazard perception test shouldn't be scored as a pass or a fail, but it should be scored basically the examiners should say give or, give or take the doubt for judgment. If they can see that you scored it before it should have been scored but it was quite close then they could say well fair enough you saw the hazard you knew it was there the 54321 point system is BS in my book um, so yeah let's get on and do the 14 clips on the big screen right so this will be clip 5 of 14 every time I perceive a hazard I basically click the mouse so these are all computer generated images or CGI, which is the way it will be done on your test. So this cost, if you do the three practice clips on the gov.uk website, it'll give you PT20, Papa Tango 20 as your discount code. That means you can have these for 60 days, six zero, 60 days to practice. Practice, 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 learn all the clips, because I do believe these are the clips you will get on your test. A random mixture of all the clips on here. So the more you practice them, the more you learn them. So we've got, I, I've, I've seen a lot of these, so we've got a bit of a narrowy section coming up with oncoming car. No hazard, no hazard, no hazard. They're all silent, so I'm going to click that. That car's going to force me to slow down. There we go. So again, click, click. That car's going to force me to slow down. So I've had to take avoiding action, change course or speed. So there's our hazard. And on the bridge number there, 138, you have to inform the railway authorities if you hit the bridge. Uh, the blue bar, you can't exactly see it at the bottom. Let me bring the camera down a bit. There we go. That blue bar is the uh, progress. I don't know if you get that on the test, but you can see the little flags where I've clicked. So let's just put one in there. You can see the little flag. A little bit of sunlight on the left of the screen there. I can't do anything about that. So there we go. You can see the progress bar now. I'll bring that back out of touch. There we go. I'll straighten that up on the next clip. So, park van, no oncoming vehicles, no need to click, there's no developing hazard there. Parked van, again, nothing, two people inside the road will give it a click. They're not really any danger. There's a horsey one where it looks like the horse is trotting, really, like it's crapped itself, it's funny. Oh, I know what's coming, we're going to have a tractor zoom out, there we go, so we'll double click there, click there, there's our hazard click again and one for luck so that's our hazard you see I knew that tractor was coming before it came because I've done this clip so many times if you practice 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 you can learn them if you learn them you shouldn't fail now it's not really a lot I can do about that glare on the side of the screen so we'll have to live with that I do need blinds or something right so oncoming car no hazard no hazard Actually, it looks like it could be a tractor. It's a little tractor. Ah, look at your little tractor. Couldn't you afford a big one? So, click, click. We've got a potential hazard. There we go. Potential hazard. Motorcycle. Oh, he's going to swerve. And we've had to slow down for this car. The group of people crossing aren't a hazard because they've already crossed. And gone into a house. Now one year clips should have two developing hazards so you don't know which one or when so do be aware of 
don't relax when you've found your hazard. There could be another one in any of the clips. And the five points for that particular second hazard could be the difference between a pass or a fail. So don't rest on your laurels. Uh, could I do something about that? If I put a couple of hangers in, I might be able to. Oh, it's dying off a bit on the screen. Oh, I've still got the glare on the camera though. So open road, again, it's all computer generated images. Warning sign, what we've got warning sign for. Something traffic calming, I believe. So no hazard, no hazard, no hazard. Uh, I think I can remember what's coming up. There may be a lorry or something in the road around the corner. Slow, a raff. A raff is Welsh for slow. Ah, there we go, boy all. -oh. Ah, lorry in the road, boy all. -oh. Car reversing, boy all. -oh. Nah, naughty driver. Bloody reversing. Sorry if any Welsh people are watching. I could resist. I used to deliver all over South Wales, actually. It's a really nice place. Mrs. wants to move there. Look at the scenery. I don't think it's all computer generated. I mean, those buildings, those hills, those trees, they've got to be some sort of actual footage which has been CGI'd over. I mean, you can't CGI all that in the background. Look at it. Ah, no motor vehicles up there, boy. Oh. Right, what we got? A pedestrian looking like he's just crapped himself. Somebody in the road. That car's reversing in front of us. Naughty taxi. Ah, boy, oh, somebody's parked on the double yellows. Nasty corner, look for shadows. That will give it away in one of the clips. You've got to look for reflections, shadows, all sorts of little clues can give it away. Now, obviously, that BMW taxi was the hazard, but as I said, the don't look like it's going to be in this one because the blue bar is nearly finished. But you will get two hazards in one clip. So we're on a country lane. Quite a wide one really. It's almost big enough to have a centre divider. 30 mile an hour speed limit. There we go, horses in front. Look at the way the horses are walking, it's hilarious. <laughs> the horses look like they've pooped themselves. Horses do not walk like that, trust me, I have to. So there's our hazard on this one. You don't have to click the mouse on the hazard. You can click the mouse literally anywhere. I'll keep it down here in the corner. You can, here it is, you can see it over here. You can click the hazard anywhere on the screen. It's just the clicking itself, which defines there's a cyclist up ahead. We'll give that a click. We'll give it another click. You can then in pulling around that puddle. You can click just a wee bit too early. So a double click is often suggested see the hazard click it give it a second click it again on some of my uh, mock tests that i've done i've literally missed them by a millisecond because i clicked clicked and it was just out of the scoring zone give him another click no way cycling computer generated image cgi i think the actual video of the road is Actual and then or factual and then they CGI all the people and the other traffic in so number 11 sorry number 12 look at the fake snow I don't know where this one comes in 
I don't think I've seen this one. If I have, I haven't seen it very often, maybe once or twice. I've done quite a few of these several times. I know where the hazard is before it starts, so I know where to click. There we go. Animals on the right. Animals on the right. It's going to run out in front of me. There we go. Fake little Bambi just crossed the road. So eyes open, looking ahead. You don't want to be looking in front of you. You want to be looking up ahead. You're looking for things, pedestrians walking out, cyclists, mobility scooters, animals, bulls, anything which could cause something to follow it or run out into the road or cycle into the road, drive their scooter into the road. Right, I have seen this one before, but again, I don't remember it. So the more times you do these clips, the more times you learn where the hazard is, the more times you learn. I want to walk out of the test centre with 100% on my theory. I've done it four out of nine times. I've done 100%. I've done a 94% and everything else is between 95 and 98%. I had a 99% on camera yesterday. Nine mock tests, 900 questions. There we go. Get in. Nine mock tests, 900 questions. And I've got, I think it's 22 wrong answers out of all 900. So I've got an overall pass rate of 97%. The pass rate for the HGV PCV theory test is 85%. So I'm well within my uh, parameters to pass. In fact, the WTTL people that I'll be taking my test with have actually sent me a theory and hazard perception online learning suite for 60 days, which is what I've hired this for. So it coincides. Um, I'm not sure which their hazard perception clips are yet. If it's got these on there, then I've just wasted £11.20. But in my eyes, every penny I spend on learning media is not wasted. Every penny I spend on getting this stuff right is a penny invested. Oh, naughty, naughty. Go on, come on, out you come. No, moron. So, yeah, I've got two books that cost £20 each. I've got the Highway Code book and Traffic Signs. They were about seven or eight quid between them. I've got a 30 quid DVD, which I've done all my mock tests on. All this costs money. It's cost me money out of the gyro that I no longer get because I've hit my maximum time. So here we go. Today, as you can see, on video clip one, I've scored four points. Video clip two, five. Video three, five. Four, five. Five, five. Six, five. Seven, five. Eight, four. Why is that not scrolling? Well, I've scored 63 out of a possible 70. To pass the test, I should have scored at least 41 out of 70. So I've dropped seven points. Oh, there we go. Uh, well done. To pass your real hazard perception test, you need to score as follows. Car drivers and motorcyclists, 44 out of 75, 59%. These are 14 clips. You, one clip usually has two developing hazards. Driver of large vehicles, 67 out of 100, which will be us, 67%. There are 19 clips. One clip has two developing hazards. Driving instructors, 57 out of 75, 76%. There are 14 clips, one clip has two developing hazards. Keep learning until you really understand the theory and are able to pass hazard perception tests consistently. So yeah, driving instructors have to get 57 out of 75. Large vehicles, 67 out of 100. And car drivers, 44 out of 75. So 59% for car drivers, 76% for driving instructors and 67% for large vehicle drivers. So back to the top, or take another test. I will do take another test, but at this moment, I have to run indoors and pander to her indoors. Okay, so that was the last 10 clips of the series of 14. Uh, they were at official DVLA website that I purchased 60 day access to. Uh, if you want to purchase them, use discount code PAPATANGO PT20 PT20 for a 20% discount. So that costs 11.20 for 60 day access. The um, software that WTTL have granted me access to is 60 days, so that's why I bought 60 days. 
in I've not tried theirs although it does have some of the CGI clips on it I would suggest with the hazard test because the perception of somebody else's like the DVD I showed you earlier their idea of how to develop it is different to yours and mine um, there are comments all over YouTube about you know different ideas of hazards at different stages so if you learn the DVLA clips that you're going to get on your test you can't but pass if you know it or as uh, what's this Chris Tarrant says on Millionaire the answers are only easy the questions are only easy if you know the answers the hazard perception videos are only easy if you know where the hazards are so my advice buy the software of the DVLA on gov.uk shop and practice 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 like the video subscribe to the channel and I'll see you shortly with more electronic horsey air rifle and possibly my experiences of LGB training. See you soon.